Hey guys, it's Brooke from The Junk Parlor. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, my friend Hillary and I take a road trip to Waterloo, Nebraska to junk stock. Now, it has been years since I have been to junk stock. The last time I was in junk stock was 2016. Thank you, Facebook memory pop-up. So 2016, I set up at the current location of junk stock. So prior to that, junk stock was on a dairy farm. I set up there for a few years and then they bought, Sarah bought her current property and started kind of transitioning junk stock. So I got to set up there the first time. It was, I don't know if it was my very, very last show setting up, but it was my last junk stock. And it was a very eventful last show because they had gotten a lot of rain before the show. And then I can't remember if it actually rained that weekend or not, but my booth was in standing water. It was miserable. We bought mulch and they had straw, but it just didn't help when there was that much water. So that was kind of a bummer. And being at the show by myself, that always makes things difficult as well because I am unloading a trailer full, setting up my booth and then packing it all away by myself in a lot of water. So not only did it rain and I was in a puddle, which now they have that spot as a parking lot. On the way there, I had a flat tire. And I could tell by my Facebook memory, I had had multiple flat tires recently or had flat tires or slow leaks, but I had changed the tire quite a bit. It is a nightmare to be by yourself and have a flat tire while you have your trailer hooked up, but it ended up being okay. I was just very stressed about driving with it. So all of that to be said, 2016 was the last time I'd been to junk stock. Sarah, the coordinator, is one of the best coordinators I have ever been around and worked with, set up shows at. She always does things better. So if she gets a lot of feedback about something, like that first year, it was a swamp. There were uh, miles of backed up cars waiting to get in the parking lot. You know, as you do something, you learn, right? And Sarah is so, so good about taking what has happened or listening to feedback and then changing things so that the show runs even smoother. So kudos to Sarah. She is such a good promoter. If you are on social media at all, you've probably already seen lots of glimpses of junk stock because Sarah's displays have always been amazing. She used to have a love shack. She had paint cans spilling paint out. I can't remember if it was a heart or probably a peace sign on the barn. She has always done amazing displays, amazing, amazing photo backdrops. And this year was no exception. So in case you haven't already seen them, I'm not going to share what awesomeness she did. You're gonna have to watch the video and find out.
gotten wet. Because oh. it probably rained and blew and different. I don't know if I've seen a green striped rock. though I absolutely loved this MJB coffee tin and it is one that I do not have I didn't really want to spend that so I left it much for watching today's video of us going and visiting junk stock now it was freezing while we were there and super duper windy but we bundled up and we went ahead and we tackled the event anyway and it was so much fun to see all the dealers that I know from setting up at shows over the years whether it was junk stock or someplace else and meeting new people who follow me on Instagram or Facebook and recognized me while I was there and said hi. I really appreciate when you guys do that. I know some people are a little bit hesitant about saying hi because I may or may not recognize your handle or your face, but you feel like you know me. And so I feel like that means I have done a good job on social when you feel that we have a friendship just from watching me. So thank you so much every time you say hi. It really makes what I do even that much more fulfilling. Click the like button on that video and leave me a comment. Have you been to Junk Stock and what was your impression?